Welcome to another edition of Inking with Jimmy. Today's topic is goals. It's about setting goals and achieving those goals. My goal is to become a full-time comic book inker. I want to work with some of the top publishers and I want to get to work with the biggest names in the comic book industry. Well, if you've been watching my videos, then most likely you're aware that I've been building a comic book portfolio. I've been inking different pencilers. Of course, one of those pencilers that I've been inking over is David Finch. And although there are many different pencilers out there who I want to work with, David Finch is at the top of that list for me. Personally, for me, I really admire his work. I love his art style. He's been a big influence on my art uh, throughout the years. So I've always wanted to work with him. Well, I've reached that goal. Meredith Finch and David Finch contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in inking over David. I was blown away, yes! <laughs> of course, I would love to ink over David Finch. You know, I love his work. I've been a big fan of his work for a very long time and have admired his work for so long that when I was asked to ink over his work, the fanboy in me just oh, came out, you know? So I was so excited by it. Well, Dave sends me his number and he says, hey, give me a call and we'll talk about this cover. So there I am, I'm dialing the number, about to hit send, and here I am, a grown man, nervous about talking to another adult male. So it was the fanboy in me who's excited, super nervous. Oh my God, what do I say? I've, I admire his work. So I'm afraid when I get on the phone that I'm just gonna say, I love your work, man, it's so amazing. Be this big fanboy. <laughs> and so the other part of me is like, hey man, be professional. You're professional too. Relax. Well, so Meredith answers the phone, super sweet woman, and she says like, yes, let me go ahead and let me get Dave on the phone for you. So I'm waiting for Dave to get on the phone and I'm getting nervous even more. But when he gets on the phone, Dave is such a really nice guy. He called me by my name. He was, you know, he spoke to me as if we've talked before. He's really humble and complimented my videos and he complimented my inks. And I thought, wow, this is weird to have a guy whose work you really admire, truly appreciate his talent. And here he is complimenting you. I was taken back by that and I thought, wow, this is great. So Dave's interested in, in learning about inks. And so it's the whole reason why he was searching for how to ink videos and he came across my video. And at the same time, I'm on the phone with the top talented guy that whose work I admire very much. I want to pick his brain. He knows so much about rendering, spotting blacks, making things look just amazing and so dynamic on a page. I want to learn all this. So I want to pick his brain, you know, and, and, and just absorb all this stuff and just, well, how do you do this stuff, Dave? You'll share it with me. So we're talking on the phone and we're talking about this cover that I'm going to be inking for him. And in the back of my mind, oh my God, I can't believe, is this real? Is somebody pranking me? Am I in a dream? So we're talking on the phone and we're getting to share different uh, techniques about inking. We're talking about inks and we're talking about different inkers, different art styles, and we're talking about artwork. And you know, this is amazing. You know, I, I don't really often get to talk to too many artists about artwork and especially the one artist whose work I really admire. So. I'm super excited about it, but at the same time, I'm thinking, you know, gotta be professional. And David treated me like a professional. He was super nice to me. He answered all my questions. You know, he didn't rush me on the phone. He took time out of his busy evening. He was actually penciling the cover when I called. He took time out to talk to me, and then he was gonna finish up the cover. Well, this is the night before I am gonna receive the original artwork. Paige is gonna come in in the morning, so tonight, is like Christmas Eve, oh, and tomorrow's Finch Day. The original art's coming in. I'm gonna get to, for the first time, get to see and hold an original David Finch piece of artwork. And if you've ever seen original artwork, it's so much more dynamic than a print or a scan of the artwork. You get to see all the details, all of the, the rendering. It's just an amazing opportunity. So I'm, I'm very excited about it. Not only that, is that I get to put my take on top of Dave Finch's artwork. I get to put my style and I get to be a part of the artwork and the art style that I've admired for so long. This is a dream come true. This is reaching one of my goals much sooner than I had anticipated or even dreamed of. I thought it would be so much longer before I would ever get to this point. Sometimes I would think, am I ever gonna get to eat Dave Finch? So I've got to do really well in this project. But at the same time, I can't overwhelm myself. I also can't be extremely nervous that I, I end up 
being so scared of the project. In reality, I've inked Dave Finch many times before, although it's been over Blue Line, but it's still, it's Dave Finch art style. It's his actual artwork and I've been inking over it. So I need to remember that Dave likes what I've done so far. He likes it enough that he's giving me this opportunity. He picked me out of all the other inkers that are out there, all the other possibilities. So he does see something in my ability. So I need to be remember, ink with confidence. So when one of your dreams comes true and you reach one of your goals, you're gonna be excited. You're gonna have adrenaline building. You know, you're gonna be nervous at the same time, you know, and that's okay. So remember that you're good and that's why you got the work. Relax, take in a deep breath and, and be professional and do your best. You know, so that's what I, I'm doing is, is that, uh, you know, the butterflies are, are settling, you know, no longer that nervous. You know, fortunately for me, uh, you know, Meredith Finch, David Finch's wife, is extremely nice. You know, she is such a great team with, with David, and they really seem to help each other out. You know, they work so well together, and, it, and it's like they kind of tag team back and forth, and, and they get the stuff done. They work so amazingly together. So Meredith takes a picture of, of the pencils and sends it to me, and I get to see it in advance. And I went, wow, this is just a great looking cover. When I was on the phone with Dave, and we were talking about uh, the cover, and I asked, you know, how long did it take you to work on this cover? It took him 10 hours to pencil this cover. So can you imagine 10 hours of work and then you hand it over to somebody? Well, you really have to have confidence in that person. So it made me feel really good that David spent so many hours on this project and that he's comfortable enough and he's handing it over to me. So I'm going to treat this project with respect, you know, and I'm going to, you know, make sure that I give it my best, the best that I can do at this time. Because I'm going to grow, you know, each time I get to ink his work, each time I get to ink anything, you know, with every new page, you grow. So with Meredith sending me that photo, it helped me relax. I got to see what I'm getting into, what it is that I'm going to be inking. And this way, I can create in my mind a game plan and go, okay, I'm gonna start inking this area with nib and I'm gonna need some brush work in this area. I know what kind of effects or textures I wanna do. Uh, I, I think I know where I wanna ink first. And of course, that's just a, a game plan. It could change because when you receive the original and you look at the original, you know, it is so much more detailed. It is so much more dynamic. The key thing with that photo is that it took away the mystery and gave me a good idea of what I'm going to be doing. So I was able to relax. And now at this point, I'm ready. I want, I want to get started inking this. And so the, the cover comes in in the morning. Uh, I'm excited about it. Like I mentioned, it's like Christmas Eve and uh, it's the night before and in the morning I will receive the original artwork via FedEx. I've opened up that FedEx package and I'm going to do that in front of the camera. I'm going to go ahead and keep a video log so that you can share in the experience of becoming a professional comic book artist and get to see what it's like when you are sent artwork that is due by a certain time and you get to ink over one of the industry's most talented pencilers. And you get to work over a property that is well known with a publisher that is just growing. You know, when you get to see the artwork, most likely the comic book has already come out or the image has already been shown by the publisher. So I um, want to make sure that I have permission to show it before I would actually show the artwork. So this, by the time you're seeing this video, the, the artwork may already be available. But it is a video log and you get to see behind the scenes. So remember, set your goals, work every day, on your inks or your pencils, whatever it is they do, and do it often. Do it every day. It's going to take time for you to learn. With repetition comes improvement. So you need to work on it every day. Work on your ability every day. Ink every day. Ink everything and ink over different pencilers. Watch the how-to videos over and over, over and over. You know, I watch tutorial videos, how I learn to edit in Adobe Premiere. Well, I've done so by watching tutorial videos online. I have watched videos over and over and over and I've spent hours and hours and hours and hours inside of Adobe Premiere and that's how I've learned to edit videos so whatever I've set my mind to I have been able to learn and achieve so that's how I got to this point and was able to get the opportunity to ink over Dave so remember if you don't give up and you dedicate 100% of your time you are going to achieve that goal you're going to be successful Keep working towards it. Be sure to look for the follow-up video that we'll have where I'm actually receiving the artwork and actually working on the artwork. Well, I will see you in the next video.